finishing your cookie. What do you think? <laughs> Two thumbs up. Please try this recipe, it's really yummy. All right, you heard it here first. Give it a go. <laughs>
And this icing is also tasty too. Let's put some cocoa powder. Oh, careful. Oopsie. <laughs> we'll clean that up after. Okay, we're doing a little bit of date syrup. Ooh, that's tasty. We choose milk instead of water. You'll make it creamy. Mom's using some vanilla. Let's blend it. <laughs> this is going to be exciting blending. I'll have to turn it on at the bottom. And then I go on three. We're done blending our dressing. We're done blending it. Our frosting? Frosting, I should say. We are going to taste test our, our, our sauce that we made for the cake. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? Mmm. Tasty. So I just allowed the cake to cool in the pan. You could always remove the cake from the pan to allow it to cool if you have a cooling rack or something like that, but I like to keep it nice and simple, so I just left it in the pan, and I'm just flipping it out of the pan, and I'm going to frost it that way. You can also flip the cake over so that it's right side up, I guess, and frost it that way, but I just left it, you know, bottom side down. Uh, I don't think it makes a huge difference. Let me know if you have a difference of opinion in the comment section below. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this yummy frosting to our cake. Oh, I want to look at the cake. The cake looks beautiful, Mom. Good job. Thank you. The cake looks beautiful. Good. Yeah, it really does, Mommy. I think you did a good job. Thank you. That's really nice. Good. I don't really like icing on the sides, but I think it's really good. You don't like icing on the sides? But I really <laughs> like it. All right, delicious chocolate chip cookies, here we go. First thing I'm going to do is add one cup of oat flour to my bowl. The cookies will be made in one bowl, so I'll just add my dry ingredients first and follow it up with my wet ingredients and mix it all up. Next up is a quarter cup of powdered peanut butter. I have also tried this recipe using ground flax seeds and hemp seeds as a replacement for the powdered peanut butter, just to make it school safe for Riordan for September when hopefully he goes back to school in person. And that works out well as well. So I'll leave details in the printable recipe linked below for how I replace the powdered peanut butter for hemp seeds and flax seeds. Adding the flax seeds and hemp seeds does bring a different flavor than the peanut butter, of course, but it's equally as delicious, super yummy, and then it's safe for everyone to eat, or most people at least, it's not as much of an allergen concern. Adding some baking powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a little mix. The powdered peanut butter can get a little bit clumpy, so it's just nice to get that mixed up first. Okay, onto the wet ingredients. I'm going to add unsweetened applesauce, a quarter cup of maple syrup or date syrup. Today I'm using maple syrup, but either way, it turns out really delicious. I just ran out of dates. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give that a mix. The dough is seeming a little bit wet, so I'm going to add a little bit of extra oat flour to the mix. And the last ingredient is chocolate chips. Go ahead and fold those in. I can't say that during recipe without thinking of, uh, what is it, Good's Creek? Just fold it in. What does that even mean? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you get that reference or not. 
All right, I have my trusty scoop here. I use these little scoops for many recipes. They're very multi-purpose. Um, I have three sizes of them, so this is the smallest one that I have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop them. Once I'm done dropping them, I will flatten them slightly. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to pop them in the oven. It's already preheated to 325 degrees. I'll pop them in for about 12 to 15 minutes until they're lightly golden brown on the bottom. And that's literally all there is to it. They'll be done, ready to enjoy. All right, so after making this batch of chocolate chip cookies, Brian, of course, wanted to taste test. We've made them before, so we know they're delicious, but let's dig in. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you that they're really, really good. Mmm. Really yummy. Delicious cookies. They almost have a bit of a cake-like texture. Yeah. Like a cross between a cookie and a cake. Mm. Really, really good. Delicious. Super tasty. We're gonna finish these and enjoy them. Let us know if you try this recipe or our chocolate cake recipe and how they turn out for you and if you make little tweaks or adjustments to suit your own preferences. I hope you really enjoyed this video and enjoy the recipes. Please give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe below if you haven't already. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.